Hello, welcome. This is One India News. I am Akash and I am back. And this is the Angry Indian Show. Yes, oh, that's it. basically it's called the Angry Indian Rant. But yeah, you can call it the Angry Indian Show because we go on a rant and this is a show. You get the idea, right? Okay, well, uh, this is the show where we talk about something which is making me angry, the Indian, and well, basically making a lot of Indians angry. So, this is what we discuss on the show. So, without any further ado, let's dwell into the things that are making us all very angry. Number one, India. That, yeah, India basically rocketed some of the posts in uh, Pakistan. And thank God, first of all, thank God they did that. But the second part is even much more better. That thank God, nobody said, where is the proof of that? Because last time you remember, India did a surgical strike in Pakistan. And well, uh, they said that they, you know, destroyed a lot of bunkers out there. And everybody was going, where is the proof? Who can prove it? Did you do that? But thank God, thank God, people are not asking for any proof at least till now because you never know somebody like mr delhi cm might just say in one thing that uh bhai, where is the proof of that right so bhai sahab thank you for not asking for the proof until now let's hope that he might not tweet something about that and saying uh, i want to know where this thing actually happened well but uh Kudos to the Indian Army for what they have done. Well, actually, this thing happened after two of the Indian soldiers were beheaded by uh, the Pakistani army. And then this thing happened. And yes, we are very much proud of that. So apart, rather than being more angry about it, I'm more proud about this thing. Number two, Virat Kohli Anushka Sharma. This is one mystery which is not being solved ever like everybody's confused about this thing are they going out together are they not going out together uh, is uh, you know is anushka sharma virat kohli's half girlfriend or is uh, virat kohli anushka sharma's half boyfriend or are they friends with benefit what is it like what is it what is the mystery behind these two people like they go out together they hold hand together but in a recent uh, event uh, when uh, Virat Kohli and Ashka Sharma they went out to see uh, Sachin Tendulkar's movie uh, Sachin A Million Dreams uh, there was a special screening for the Indian cricket team and there what happened is that uh, Virat Kohli and Anushka Sharma were asked to give their views about the movie and then Virat Kohli very excitedly asked Anushka to accompany him but Anushka basically sidelined him and said no no you go alone and do it so you can see in this photographs right how she is pushing in and look at the look at the look at the guy's face like seriously he looks like a dog yeah who has been ignored by his master this is what it looks like so Virat Kohli, grow some balls, like seriously, grow some balls, come out and tell your girl, if you guys are going out together, say to the world, why Anushka Sharma is so, like, not saying that, uh, you know, you guys are going out, what is the deal? If there is any deal, you can tell me, I won't tell anybody, I'll just tell it on the show, that's it, nothing else, okay? So basically figure it out guys, because we guys are going crazy about this thing. We don't know what are you guys. Are you a couple? Are you not a couple? Are you half a couple? Are you a quarter of a couple? Or are you, what are you? So clarify, please. Thank you. Number three, Sonu Nigam quitting Twitter. Yes, after the Azan uh, whole thing, uh, Sonu Nigam has finally said that he is not going to be on the social networking site, which is called Twitter. Because uh, Abhijit, Abhijit, he is also a singer from the Bollywood. He was basically blocked by Twitter for his uh, tweets. Yes, and uh, because of that, uh, Sonu Nigam said that I won't be on Twitter. And apart from that, Paresh Rawal, who also landed up in a little bit of controversy after he uh, tweeted something about uh, a social activist called Arundhati Roy. You know her? Oh. That's good if you know her. If you don't, it's okay. You can go to Google and search about her. But yeah, basically, uh, he said something about uh, that Arundhati Roy should have been used as a shield by the army, not as not a poor man who was pelting stones in Kashmir. So after that, everybody going crazy. And then Paresh Rawal actually got this letter. Uh, nee, actually, he didn't got the letter. He wrote this letter telling his fans that uh, Twitter has actually asked him to be more... Uh, 
politically correct as far as I can go about from this thing and uh, should refrain from saying all these things. Now this is very funny when you know people are saying something about what's on their mind. Uh, Twitter is saying Twitter is actually telling them not to do that. Now, isn't that a bunch of? Because isn't that what Twitter is all about? You just express yourself. This is what uh, social media is all about. You need to, if you want to express yourself, there is an open space. Go and went out whatever you want to do. So basically, why are you not? Uh, why the stopping people from doing that thing? That is the biggest question that I am really angry about. So maybe that is the reason why uh, you know Sonu Nigam said that enough is enough. I am um, washing my hands from this. Bye bye, Twitter. But actually, uh, Sean has asked uh, Sonu Nigam to rethink and come back to Twitter. Let's see if he does. Number four, uh, which basically proves that why we Indians don't get anything world class to ourselves. And well, basically, when we go outside, we say, wow, what a clean metro, what a clean city, what a great road transportation. But when we are given something world class, we basically you know, break it and then, <laughs> well, that is what has happened to the Tejas Express. Yes, uh, the Tejas Express, which is considered to be the fastest train in the country and oh. is somewhere at par with the bullet train, which the government is planning to bring next to the country. It made its maiden voyage from Mumbai to Goa. And what happened in that? Well, some idiot who traveled in, the met in that train, basically what they did, they uh, broke some of the infotainment screens uh, that they were on this um, uh, in the train and then uh, they break some of the headphones that were provided for the infotainment system like seriously so if somebody is giving you good things oh. you're basically ruining it and then you want government to put in more money to give you the ruined a very nice looking train yeah you basically ruined it and then you want to give you more good things in life are you crazy like are you seriously crazy who will give you yeah but seriously i think we should be happy that we have such third class things in india because we don't deserve like seriously we don't deserve to get world class things to us because if you do, then start respecting to for what things are being provided to you. If you don't, don't expect for yourself to be getting all those nice and shiny things. Moving on, the last point of the show, Rambo. Yes, if you know Sylvester Stallone, he played Rambo. Yes, now an Indian version of the Rambo is being made. And guess who is going to start in that? No, no, take a wild guess. Who is going to be there in that video? In that film uh, no it's not going to be John Ibrahim ah no 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 there is not going to be any other new actor it is going to be Tiger Shroff now given the fact that Tiger Shroff looks good he knows martial arts he is trained in martial arts but Tiger Shroff doesn't look like a Rambo like this is Sylvester Stallone that is Tiger Shroff but basically the movie was launched in Cannes and Sylvester Stallone has gives a thumbs up to the movie. Yes, he says that uh, let's hope that this movie does good because uh, of course it is a character that is close to Sylvester Stallone's heart. Apart from that, <laughs> I am really <laughs> not very uh, keen to watch something which I, I don't know. I am not I am not keen to watch something like this. If you are, well, good luck to you, sir. So well, that was the Angry Indian rant today. If you liked it, good. If you don't like it, even better. If you dislike it, I would even love it more. Okay, but apart from that, if you love the show and if you uh, really didn't like the show, there's a comment section below. Don't forget to mention the comment over there. Don't forget to subscribe to One Indian News YouTube channel. And apart from that, don't forget to ring the bell because once you ring the bell, you'll get the notifications of all the videos that we are putting on our channel. Well, thanks for watching and stay angry, India. Stay angry.